hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel as you can see from the title i was in a car accident and i completely totaled my car like it was really bad it was it was really bad for me like i'm lucky i even i'm even like sitting right here like talking to y'all it's like no exaggeration like it was really bad so um let's just get right into the video so um this happened last saturday to be exact it happened literally a week ago and uh, um i was at work at the hair salon and the first client didn't come she was there she was supposed to be there at 9 30 and she didn't come so like around 9 45 i was like oh well i'm gonna go get me something to eat and then come back for um the 10 o'clock client that we had and so I was in the parking lot of my job and I had called my godmom. She's like, she's my supervisor. My supervisor, my godmom, same thing. And so I called her to see if she wanted me to pick her up something. I was going to Chick-fil-A and so I was calling her to see if she wanted me to get her something from there too. And so she didn't answer. That was fine. I was like, oh, well, she'll probably call me back like in the midst of my, on my way there or something like that. So, um just so happened the accident happened right in front of my high school like right in front of my high school it was crazy so anyway i'm going towards the chick-fil-a and i'm in the middle lane and it was a car in front of me so it was like it was like a little gap in between me and the car that was in front of me and so it was another car on the opposite side waiting to make a left turn so i guess she must have assumed she could make it through that gap of me and the other car and uh, right before the accident had happened i had answered the phone through my car because i had bluetooth on my car and so right before it had happened i answered the phone through my car and it was my godmother calling me and so we were trying to like connect to each other like hello can you hear me like that type of thing or whatever so as soon as i pressed answer i said hello she said hey you called me and then that's when the accident happened so the lady t-boned she tried to make the left turn and she t-boned the driver's side of my car and it caused my all of my airbags on my driver's side even the ones in the back seat all of those airbags deployed and so it was kind of like I got hit, of course, from the left side. It caused me to swerve and hit head on into the front pole. So I got, so the airbags deployed on the left. And then the airbag from my steering wheel also deployed too. So it was like a double impact. And so my car was just like, it was done from that point on. I was just like, temper, like when it happened, I was like, temporarily paralyzed like my life didn't flash before my eyes or anything like that it was kind of like and it wasn't like i blacked out or anything because i seen what happened i seen everything that happened and it was just like literally it happened in the blink of an eye like literally and so um in the midst of the accident happening happening mind you i'm still on the phone with my godmother and so she was like hello trina can you hear me and I'm just like, oh, like, oh my God. Like, you know how in movies where if somebody like in a real bad accident, they like, oh, oh my God. Y'all, that is not fake. That is so real because that's exactly how I felt. Like, I couldn't believe I had been in a freaking accident. Like, this was really happening to me. Like, I really just crashed my car. Not because of me, but because of somebody else. Like, what? And so she's like, Trina, can you hear me? Da, da, da. And I was like, I was just in an accident. And she was like, what? And I'm like, I was just in an accident. And she was like, Trina, what? Where are you at? Da, 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 da. So I told her I was in front of my old high school. Like I, like she knew, of course, where I went to high school and stuff like that. She was there literally in like two minutes. I kid y'all not. And so, um, before, like when I, after I told her I was in an accident, like I unbuckled my seatbelt and uh, I tried to open my door, but I just felt like, I guess I was too weak at the time. Cause I was just like still 
shocked about what had just happened. So um, I tried to open my door and when I tried to, my keys fell out of my pocket. I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know. And so then I just took my arm off the door and just let it close back by itself. And then like some people, like some guys and stuff had came rushing to my car and they opened the door from the outside of course. And they was like, uh, can you hear me? Are you okay? Da -da -da. I'm like, yes, I'm fine. Like they, they was like, are you able to get out? And I didn't think I was able to get out on my driver's side because the airbags was still like inflated. So I didn't think like I was able to get out. So I looked to the left, I'm sorry, I looked to the right on my passenger side. And of course that side wasn't hit or impacted only in the front. And so I'm like, I can climb over it. By the time I had gained full uh, mobility and stuff like that, I had came like back to reality. And I'm like aware of my senses and I'm like aware of what just happened and stuff like that. And so I'm like, I, I can get out, I can climb over and get out on my passenger side. I don't have to get out on my driver's side. And they was like, no, sweetheart, we got you, we got you, da da da. So when they opened my door, they had lifted the um, the driver's side airbag outside of the door. So I was still able to, not still able, but I was able to go under the airbag and get out of the car. And I like picked my keys up. And uh, um, at that moment in time, I had a, so I have an elephant on my Pandora bracelet and I have an elephant on my keychain. And so at that moment in time, like I just seen an elephant on the ground. I'm thinking, oh my God, my bracelet broke. Blah, blah, blah. Like, of course I was just in an accident. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about my dad going bracelet breaking. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, but yes, that's what I thought at the moment of time. But then when I picked it up, I, it was too big for it to be one of the charms on my bracelet. So I was like, oh, it came off my keys, blah. So I picked my keys up and my phone, of course, had like slid on the floor of my car. So I picked my phone up and I like took it off of the Bluetooth on my phone because, yeah, it was just my car was completely trash, like nothing was working. So I took it off of the Bluetooth and I put it on the speaker on my actual phone and I was telling my god mom what happened and stuff like that. In the middle of me telling her what happened, here she go pulling up. <laughs> so... I instantly started boo-hooing, like, I'm crying on her shoulder, like, I got a knot on my head, like, it was huge, like, it was huge, and then, like, my chest, of course, from the airbag was hurting so bad, like, it just felt so tight, like, I can't even describe it, it, was, it just felt so tight, and when the airbags did deploy from my steering wheel, like, the, the powder from it, it was just... Ugh, it was so disgusting and of course like it hit you like in your face and in your chest so you have no other choice but to inhale it or taste it some kind of way it was disgusting like it saved my life but it was so disgusting and the knot on my head I have no idea where it came from I don't know if it came from me hitting my head on the steering wheel when I when she t-boned my car or I don't know if it came from the airbag but i'm thinking if it would have came from the airbag it would have been in the center of my head but it was more so like right here on the right side but i don't know but anyway my grandma came up i just started boo-hooing on her shoulder like i was bawling like i could not believe it for real and so she like what happened what happened da -da -da. so i told her what happened and she was like, well, um, what do you want to do? You want me to take you or do you want to go in an ambulance? Da, da, da. So the guy, the the EMT had asked me like, of course, because he seen the knot on my head. So he asked me like, was I aware of my surroundings? Did I know where I was at? Did I know what day it was? And stuff like that. Just to I assume, make sure I didn't have a concussion or something like that. But I answered all his questions correctly. And he was like, okay, okay, you seem pretty fine. And so that was that. And so um, the fire truck came, of course the police came, and the whole time the lady that hit me is just sitting in her car. Y'all, I was so freaking mad at that lady. And it was an older lady, like probably my grandmother age. I was so mad at that lady, like so mad at her, not even going to lie. And so I... I ain't go over there and say nothing to her. I ain't none of that. I got all her information from the police and the police report that they gave me. Well, the police report number that they gave me. All I, 
I did not have nothing to say to that lady, like nothing at all. So my, I called my grandmother and she, her and my uh, younger brother came. Like they got there probably in like 10 minutes or so. Cause of course, you know, it, it, well, it happened Saturday morning. So of course, like everybody's still in bed. I'm the only one that was up and out in the house cause I had to be to work obviously. So they had to like get themselves together and then they came down and stuff like that. And then I called my dad. I called, um, I called. Basically, like everybody that I talk to on a daily basis, that's who I called. And I text Caitlin, Paris, and Keisha because we're all in a group message together. And I was just like, I was in a car accident. My car is total. And they was just like, oh my God, da, 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 blah, 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 all that stuff. So long story short, after that, um, the, the lady gave the police, like, when I was walking over towards my grandmother and my brother, because they were standing on the opposite side of the street. So when I was walking over towards them, I feel like the lady like tried to like signal me down like this. I looked at her and rolled my eyes from the bottom of my soul. Like the complete bottom of my soul, y'all. It was no joke. I was pissed. And so um, when my brother and my grandmother came up or whatever, I was telling them what happened and my grandmother like y'all she's a christian she she's not the christian type she's a pastor like all of that stuff so she's like what in the she's like this this all happened because the ladies tried to run the damn light and i'm just like <laughs> i'm like y'all y'all get in her grandma get in her because y'all she made me total my car y'all so she uh went over there and was like looking at what happened then the the lady that hit me or the lady that caused the accident um she had a passenger i don't know who he was but he must have walked down to the house that they were going to or they were driving into and um he must have told them what happened or whatever case may be because like a younger guy that was like he looked like he was around my age or a little bit younger he came out and he was taking pictures of my car and stuff like that like yup take all the pictures you want so you can see what your grandmother your great aunt your great whatever did to my car like yes and so then um yeah that was that so i got as i said i got the police report number from the uh, cops at the scene and then uh, my grandmother and my brother took me to the hospital and i went to southern merlin and actually they were pretty decent they were pretty fast like shout out to them they was they was pretty good for real for real based on the other times i've been here but um yeah that was that so when i got to the hospital i'm just like my chest is still tight at this moment in time my knee my leg my right leg is on fire like i have no idea why because mind you like i still had on all my clothes so i wasn't able to like assess any of the damages that like happened underneath my clothes and so then um when i finally got in the back and they got me a room and stuff like that they got me a bed and stuff like that um, that's when I had to like change my clothes and change it to the gown and stuff. And I seen like I had the seatbelt marks. So I had one right here. It's kind of like fading a little bit. So it was one right here. And then um, I have I have one on each side of my waist. And then uh, my knee, my right knee, and like my calf is scratched up and it got a bruise on it. And then um, got a bruise on my left arm. Um, I got a huge bruise, a huge bruise on my right boob. And that was like a little concerning to me only because I had just got a breast reduction done. So, well, not just, but like almost a year ago, I had just, I had got a breast reduction done. So that was kind of a little concerning to me. I don't know why my light is flickering. Maybe it's about to go to a new level. I have no idea. So, yeah, whatever. We still won't keep it going. So, um, yeah, that's when when I changed in when I changed into the gown and stuff like that. They had to come like run some tests on me and draw my blood, y'all. That lady that drew my blood. I could have fought her. 
she was just she just seemed so ghetto like she she wasn't acting ghetto towards me or nothing like that but she just seemed so ghetto like she was from southeast and on mother freaking medicaid like and then it took her she had to draw my blood like she had to uh poke me with the needle twice like sis what are you doing like come on now and so from that i got bruises like right here on my arm i still got those and it's been a freaking week so yeah that was that and so i had to get a cat scan done and um what else i think uh, she drew my blood like i said and I, I think that was all that they had to do so by this time like uh my family and and Keisha are all there like I didn't even know Keisha was even there like she didn't text me back in the group message or nothing like I did not know she was out in the lobby so I'm texting her so I was supposed to take my little brother back to school on Saturday however the accident happened so I text her and I was like hey can you take Tevin back to school for me and she was like he said he not going back today mind you they do got each other number or whatever because Keisha is basically my sister so um he, she was like he said he not going back today and she was like i'm out in the lobby waiting i'm out in the lobby sitting beside them and i'm just like okay okay like that's my bitch like she ain't even call me she ain't text back nothing she just pulled up the same way it would be if god forbid she was an accident like that or anything so yeah that's that so i changed into they got me the room when the bed and stuff they ran all the tests that are dog by the time all that stuff happened that's when she, he said my family was back there or whatever and they were just basically like i didn't have any internal injuries thank god um and they was like they prescribed me some tylenol 500 and some muscle relaxers and some lidocaine patches but i the when i was getting discharged the lady like put the lidocaine patch on my chest and my lower back and it kind of irritated my skin a little bit so yeah i didn't really I wasn't a fan of the lidocaine patches, so it, it, that was what it was. So they gave me my discharge papers, and uh, I was out of there probably like um, five-ish, mm, something like that, give or take five, six o'clock, something like that. Then me and Keisha like left and went to get something to eat, and then I came back and just chilled out for the night, and then came over and stuff like that, blah, 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 whatever. And so... Um, then um from my discharge papers it told me to like follow up with my primary care doctor and stuff like that so i had an appointment yesterday morning yesterday is in friday morning and uh, i was just telling her of like um the pain that i'm going through now so luckily like the bruises have well the bruises have like been fade getting bigger but fading at the same time so i don't know if that's a good or bad thing I'm not sure but I did tell my doctor about that and now like I used to be able to stand up and lock my knees but now if I was to do that it feel like my right knee is literally going to buckle and I'm gonna fall like seriously so I'm not able to do that anymore um I'm not able to like bend over like just bend over and pick something up I literally got a squat like if I'm a, like as if I'm a pregnant lady or something like that I literally got a squat to pick something up um when I like shower and I gotta bend down to like wash my leg and my feet and stuff like that I get a sharp pain in my back um what else I think that's all oh oh and when I went to the doctor yesterday she had me do like these muscle tests i guess you could say so i had to push on her and then pull on her she tested my strength and then she had me like uh bend over as far as i could and things of that sort um i think that was all she had me do and like after she had me do that my back was literally hurting all day like all day for real and now it's like still it's hurting it's been hurting today but not as bad as yesterday so that's a good thing so i think i'm gonna just take like another epsom salt bath and hopefully that'll like uh relax my muscles some and i'll be good from that but um she gave me another prescription to get like some some ibuprofen or motrin or something like that i don't know i'm honestly tired of taking medicine that's going to make me sleepy like i just want the pain to be gone while i'm awake like 
yeah and i know it's not gonna happen overnight but yeah i, I i'm just overtaking medicine like i'm over it and so she also gave me a referral to some physical therapists within my area so that's a good thing but now i gotta get a, i did get my police report and uh, the lady of course was found at fault so um one i'm waiting for my damage adjuster from my car insurance i have geico so for my car insurance to um get to the tow yard so that uh he can assess the damages on my car i i i, I told him that like off brakes my car is total like it took them it took the guy that told my car five times to even i had to push the start so it took him five times to even turn the car off and then um when he came back with the tow truck he tried to like turn it on in order so that he could uh back my car up from the pole that i hit the car wouldn't even turn on so he had to tow it from the back of my car away from the pole and then he had to detach it from the back in order to uh reattach it from the front and tow my car away like it was really bad I'm, of course i'm gonna include like some images of like how my car looked and things of that sort but But, yeah, so as I was saying, I got to wait for the damage adjuster to get out to the tow yard to assess the damages of my car and see, like, if it's completely total, which I told him it was. And I, now I got to get a lawyer because, yeah, so I'm about to get paid off this lady just because she couldn't wait to make a left turn. Like, like what? You couldn't have been in a rush. Come on now. You had the handicap placard in your window. So, yeah, that was that. And uh, um, what else? What else? What else? Now I have to go through the whole process of, like, getting a rental car. I have to go through the whole process of finding another car that I do like and that has everything that I want in it. And it's just, it's just been a lot, for real, for real. So this past week, it's been, like, blah. Like, I did go back to work on Wednesday that was it was kind of cool it, it was all right but i just didn't like how like quite a, like some people was just like in my face like oh my god are you okay like don't do that to me don't do that because that's just gonna make me think about the whole situation again it's gonna make me it's gonna put me in my feelings again like just be like hey i heard what happened i'm sorry to happen but i hope you good and leave it at that let me say thank you and leave it at that but don't come up to me oh give me a hug <laughs> no that's annoying like that is so annoying to me i don't know maybe because i'm just not that attention type of person so yeah what well, no that is what it is but i did go back to work this work week was a hassle but i made it there and um yeah i went back to the hair salon today and everything was fine there like uh everyone was like well not everyone but quite a few people was like i'm glad you're okay da, 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 and i showed them like the picture of my car stuff like that so it was pretty cool but now it's just all about healing i'm just so grateful that i walked away from the accident with only scratches and bruises because the way my car looked it could have went completely different way i'm glad i had my i had my seatbelt on because yeah but god was like it's not your time to go like your mission on this earth ain't complete yet so i don't know where you think you going but you saying right here so yes that is how i was in a car accident and i told my car over martin luther king weekend so i hope y'all enjoyed this video um hopefully it won't be any more videos like this because lord no no but as i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see y'all in the next video